What's going on guys? Chaos Marine here bringing you my first episode of my brand new series of Marine Corps Boot Camp. As you just saw there in my little picture display, we're going to be talking about receiving week through week one. I kind of merged these two together because receiving week is pretty much a waste of a week except for Friday and that Saturday. And that's when training really begins on that net, the next following week. So uh, receiving week basically goes like this. You guys get there on a bus. I'm talking about San Diego. You know, the the training matrix is off of San Diego's boot camp. But, you know, Paris Island is, is not much different. They, they We do the same things, I promise you guys. So, um, you get there on a bus, and you get greeted by drill instructors. And these aren't your permanent drill instructors. The ones that you get in receiving week are receiving, are receiving barracks drill instructors. And you do basically paperwork for a whole week. You, get, you do paperwork, you get your shots and all that stuff. And, uh... I'm going to let you guys in on something. There's this thing called the peanut butter shot. Okay, it's a needle that's I don't know how long. And it has this really thick jelly that they inject into your ass cheek. Okay, quick tip for you guys. Do not tense up or your ass will be sore for the next three days. I promise you. So that's just a tip for you guys, right? But yeah, that's basically what, we'll see, what, what, what receiving week is. Just all paperwork. And you know, getting getting you in, introduced and all that good stuff to uh, to the Marine Corps. So the first two nights, or the first night actually, the first two days, you will not get any sleep. You'll be up 24/7 doing paperwork. You get your first haircut and all that stuff. And another thing, here's another quick tip: haircuts, guys. It they these barbers do not give a fuck about you. They're civilians, and I don't know what the fuck makes them think they're hot shit, but. They do not give a shit about you, all right? They will fuck your head up. So just don't go in there expecting to get a nice little haircut. No, they're going to fuck your shit up. That's okay. Whatever. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to show you guys a quick little video clip right here. And I'm going to show you how basically receiving week starts. The rest of it just is pretty generic. I'll explain what happens right after this video clip uh, after it's over. So take a look. So as you guys can see, they get off the bus and uh, they step on the yellow footprints and you know those famous yellow footprints where it all starts off. And after that, the recruits go inside. They get to these red bins, you know, and they empty out all their stuff and all that, all that other stuff. And another tip for you guys, as you can see, the drone instructors there, they they want you to move with speed and intensity. If you move with speed and intensity, you will be successful at boot camp. And everything that you do, if you have speed and intensity, you you'll be okay. I promise you. Uh, just be loud, move fast, and be intense in everything that you do. And that's that's pretty much it. You'll have a breeze. I'm not gonna say you're gonna have a breeze, but it'll make it'll make you stand out in boot camp. And other than that, that's how receiving week goes. It's it's real simple, you know, paperwork, haircuts, shots, you get your uniform issued to you. Uh, not your, your dress uniforms, just your, your camis, your camouflage uniforms. That's what you get issued to you and a bunch of other crap that you don't need but whatever okay after receiving week is over on that Friday that you that first week on Friday that you get there is the first time you meet your actual drill instructors these drill instructors that you've had up to now are the nicest drill instructors you will ever see in your life those drill instructors that were yelling in that little video that I showed you guys nothing compared to drill instructors the ones that are actually going to train you so Oh, man, these <laughs> I, I don't even know how to, how to say it. It's called Black Friday. The first day you meet your drill instructors, it's called Black Friday. I'm telling you right now, be prepared for it because 
they do they sit you in the, your new your new barracks they move you and then they have you sit down and the drill instructors all come out and they do the little drill instructor oath the senior talks to you and he says um the i believe his last words are something like we offer you the challenge to become united states marines and he turns around turns a, turns around doesn't about face and and tells his drill instructors to carry out the plan of the day they say aye aye senior drill instructor and then all hell breaks loose like i'm not kidding it it's bad but uh hopefully i'll, I'll get a chance to, to show you a clip of it but i don't i couldn't find a, a good clip on on black friday it doesn't show all the hecticness but if i do find one i'll go ahead and link you guys in the description so uh if you're interested go ahead and check that out but that's how black friday goes it's just all hectic you're getting moved in and that's how that goes on saturday they teach you you know just the rules of the marine corps what to do on the depot what you can't do on the depot and just how to act as a recruit while you're there okay and now sunday is was my drill instructor's favorite day the first sunday because you know a lot of you guys are thinking uh how, how do they discipline you how do they keep you in check or whatever besides screaming at you because you know screaming it's really easy to get used to okay here is how they discipline you they discipline you through a way called it IT is uh, stands for incentive training, and I've never heard a recruiter talk about this, and so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what IT is. Here you go. Now, as you could see in the video, that whatever that poor recruit did to deserve getting slayed like that, he probably won't do again. As my roommate is probably wondering why I'm talking to myself in this mic. But that, that's what IT is, and that's how they, they discipline you in boot camp. And other than that, that's how that Sunday goes. Every Sunday you have church, if you choose to go, which I highly suggest, because it'd be stupid not to. There are no drill instructors there. And besides that, the first week consists of your first McMap session that starts on a Wednesday. And McMap is Marine Corps Martial Arts Program. Don't get too excited. You're not going to learn a lot. You are going to learn how to do bends and thrusts, though. So that will be fun. You don't know what bends and thrusts are? Google it. It's a good time. You'll do about 400 of those a session. And on that Monday, you get issued your rifle. Your M16A, I believe we had a A4s. Yes, A4s. And I was excited to get mine, but, you know, after a while, that shit gets annoying. We carried it around everywhere. You run with it. You do everything with it. And it's it's pretty bad. But just remember, another quick tip, don't call it a gun. It is a weapon or a rifle. Not a gun. There's no such thing as guns in the Marine Corps. Why? I do not know. And let's see. Besides that, what else goes on that week? You get a lot of classes. In first phase of, of boot camp, you get a lot of classes. So you uh, you learn about Marine Corps history and tactical combat care in your first week. And all this stuff that you learn in boot camp, you will be tested on, on in third phase. If you don't pass your test, you can't graduate. It's a graduating requirement. And it's not hard. It really isn't. It's like at a fucking sixth grade level. All you got to do, you don't even really, I didn't take one single note. Zero notes. I didn't take any notes. And, you know, I still passed very, very easily. So, <clears throat> just, you know, pay to make sure you stay up or they'll take you outside and IT you. But, other than that, you know, there's a two-mile run on that Friday. That's pretty much it. So, that's how the first two weeks of training go. And, uh, this video that I have here pretty much sums it up. So, I'll go ahead and leave you guys with that. I've been Chaos Marine. Later. And your blood will no longer be right, it will be starboard. Starting right now, from this point on, everything you do will be done with speed and intensity. And the only three things that will come out of your mouth will be yes sir, no sir, but I, I sir. Do you understand me? Yes sir! Do you understand me? Yes sir! Now, without running, pushing and shoving, that we're doing to your left and to your right. You gotta get up, get up, and go to your gym. Do you understand me? Yes sir!
egg. You look somewhere else. Do you understand me? Mr. Now, do you understand?